Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. It's vlog day for Art oh. and I, the fabulous co-founders of Celebrating Act 2. Art, how are you? Hi. Hey, by the way, uh, John, I want to let you know that I, I've determined that we are once again the Fall Guys. Uh, and by, quite frankly, all the guys and gals out there are Fall people as well, because it is Fall. And what happens? It is in, Fall. And is what it, happens in Fall? Built, what? What? Is it where did they get the word Fall from? What's falling? Uh, is it Bill Jordan who likes the word Autumn? He does like autumn, but that's not for yeah, But like autumn, autumn, I like every, them both. I guess you do hear autumn leaves. There was a song like that once. But uh, uh, what I'm driving at, since it wasn't obvious to everybody else, was that uh, autumn is a time of in uh, falling leaves and changing colors, particularly in the northern climes, uh, where we grew up in the northeast. Uh, uh, we right. got this wonderful uh, spray of colors uh for a period of time and uh, i don't know about uh, you but i uh, uh i lived on a long island uh, uh when i was uh, before we moved here for about 30 some odd years ago and we loved the change of colors and early on when i was much younger we used to drive you know uh, on the merritt parkway or in at some places that were somewhat wooded in the lower upstate new york to to see the leaves uh, what about you Oh, yeah, we love the leaves. I, I was talking to my wife the other day, and we were reminiscing how when we lived in Mamaroneck, we this is the season we would go out and buy mums to plant. Uh -huh. A nice fall, very colorful plants, very and they you know, they only last to the to the first or second snow, but they're wonderful color for the fall. But yeah, we I went to school in New Hampshire, and we would go up to the Kangamangas Highway, mm. uh, which is a famous, uh, road that cuts east and west through New Hampshire and uh, through the mountains and the hills and just fabulous views of fall color. Uh, growing up in New York, I we appreciated it, but I don't think we ever um, made a big deal out of the fall color changing of leaves the way they did in New Hampshire and uh, New England and Maine and, and stuff. But, you know, Michigan... Um, upper Michigan and uh, certainly the upper Midwest, Wisconsin, they all have something very similar. Right. And they're, they're beautiful, beautiful states. So most of kind the country, of, kind of Idaho interesting. does, Idaho, I, Oregon. We live know. in Southern California now, and there are a number of people who, uh, uh, from time to time, uh, who are former Northeasterners, mostly that we know, who would maybe every 10 years try to time a trip back east in the fall, not sure. for Christmas because it's too late by then and Thanksgiving is almost the far end of it, but they try to be September, October when the leaves first start falling yep. uh, and uh, they go in to make a pilgrimage of it. But interestingly, uh, some uh, I think two of my grandkids have actually timed a trip back east so they could see uh, the the uh, leaves change for the first time in their life. It's almost like somebody from the Midwest who has to make a pilgrimage to California or to, to Florida to see the ocean because I've never seen yeah. the ocean. So, uh, yeah. uh, uh, although I have to tell you that for me, I get my fill of uh, fall uh, leaves changing from the Hallmark Channel because it seems that they must have a permanent place, I think probably in Canada, yeah. where the trees are permanently... They, the leaves never really fall. They just permanently, it's a set, a whole town, okay, yeah. where all the colors are these vibrant, beautiful colors. Well, the, the Hallmark Channel has kept the Canadian television production community alive while they Absolutely. Years, yeah. Yeah. But you're right. Um, you know, here in Southern California, we have our version of all the seasons, but it's just very subtle. Uh, for instance, in my little grove, uh, we, I can see the mandarin oranges are ripening now. They'll be ready in January. Mm -hmm. um, I just picked the last of the Valencia oranges. Um, you know, we had our last glass of orange juice uh, yesterday. Um, the apple trees are are uh, have fruit on them. 
Um, but the other deciduous trees are losing their leaves. And, uh, you know, we can see the fall. It's just not the same thing. Right. And a winter means rain. And rain means weeds. <laughs> and mud. Doesn't mean, and it doesn't mean grass. It means weeds. Right. Also, also, the, like the big difference in seasons to me has always been uh, actually me coming out to uh, California on holiday, holidays or business uh, for those years was that the the rolling hills, particularly between San Diego and L.A., were either brown or yeah. they were lush green. So you had those like two seasons. Uh, no but no, you're yeah. right. It's a totally subtle uh, uh, and sometimes it's really confusing, even without all the, the, the talk about climate change. I remember every 10 years we would get a real rainy February uh, and uh, that uh, sometimes we'd uh, be able in uh, November, when we moved here in November, low those many years ago, we would go to the mountains to snow and down to the ocean sure. uh, and take a dip in the ocean and you could do both of the, in the same day. So... Well, it is kind of relative, you know, depending on what part of the country you're in. But for, there is a fall. It really is an autumn season, and everybody mm -hmm. should go out and enjoy it. Yes, wherever you are. Or yeah. Now, you... we can't, Art, we can't go jump in the leaves that we've raked up like we could in the when we were kids. Or, you know, or... jump in the pile of leaves before we burn them. Remember that? Yeah, right. I, I remember we would have to break up the leaves. Okay, but this is sort of like at the end of the fall. We would wake them all up, and sometimes they were wet, and that was a different kind of fire. But we have, everybody would burn leaves. That's how you got rid of them. Uh, so, yeah. and jumping in the pile, jumping in a pile of leaves was like really cool. I liked doing that as a kid. So, yeah. anyway, so however you celebrate your fall, whether it's traveling to a northern climb or flipping on your Hallmark channel or. Uh, okay. Or taking a look at memories, or bah humbug, humbugging the whole thing. Uh, enjoy your fall, yeah, or or going down south to get away from the winter. Yeah, whatever it right. is. Oh, snowbirds, right? We ought to do a whole thing of so. But I've never actually really understood that, except for all the uh, people who know about ice hockey from Canada who were in Southern California. So that was said. So we need to do a whole chapter on that. <laughs> okay, next time. And to Bill Jordan, our good friend, enjoy your autumn. Amen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.